this video, we're going to take a look at everything you need to know about Google Classroom's Guardian email summaries from the parent perspective. Let's dig in. Okay, so first let's take a look at what Guardian email summaries include, and then we'll take a look at an example of a Guardian email summary. So what in the world do Guardian email summaries include anyway? If you get these in your email inbox, your Guardian email summary might include some missing work, and that would be work that's late at the time the email was sent. There might be a section for upcoming work, and that depends if you're getting daily emails or weekly emails, if that come upcoming work is due within the next couple days or due within the upcoming week. And then you might also have a section for uh, class activity, and those could be any announcements, assignments, or questions that the teacher maybe has recently posted in their Google Classroom. Here's an example of a Guardian email summary. And this is an example of a weekly summary. So parents, if you are receiving these in your inbox, you'll get something that says Google Classroom. And this one says weekly summary for Felix. And you'll see the dates here of the weekly summary. At the top, it'll have a section for student work and that's where it might have any missing work or work that's due next week. If you scroll down your email summary, there'll be a section for class activity. And these are just the posts, the announcements, the assignments that teachers have posted. Here's another example. Okay, next let's take a look at how as a parent you sign up to receive Guardian email summaries and some frequently asked questions. This is from Google's Guardian email summaries FAQ and I want to take a look at how in the world do I sign up for email summaries of my student work in the first place? Well, Google's response is your teacher is the one that sends you an invitation. There's no buttons you can click or no code you use to activate Guardian email summaries. It's going to come from your students' teachers. Now, let's take a look at what does it look like when you receive an invitation for Guardian email summaries. It might look something like this. You'll get a message that says get Google email summaries and when you open that message up you'll have a button to accept and when you press accept here it's going to ask you if this is the email account you want the email summaries to come to. If that's not the correct email account you need to press the switch account button. And this is the inbox they're going to come to. And then parents when you press accept you'll see the number of students that you are signed up for to receive email summaries for. Okay, so that's how you accept that invitation. Let's go back to our frequently asked questions. Okay, another thing that we might want to take a look at is how to change the settings on how often you get these email summaries from Google Classroom. Maybe they're blowing up your inbox and they're coming daily and it's too much for you and you want to change it to weekly or vice versa. So you might want to be interested in how do I manage my Guardian email settings. Here is a link, it's classroom.google.com forward slash GS where you can change your settings. If that link is too hard for you to get to, you can also simply open up one of your messages. And when you scroll down to the bottom of your email summary, you'll notice there's a button for settings. And when you single click on settings, you can choose if you want to receive weekly updates daily updates or no summaries at all for that child. That is how you get into the settings. Okay, we covered a lot. I hope it was helpful. I hope from the parent perspective, you were able to see what Guardian email summaries looks like.